in Castle Comer, there is a big party going on for the scouts and we're going to go in there and have a look and see what's going on. There's an excitement already.
Well, to keep the scouts going, you know, it's very important to see for the, the scouts themselves, you know, for to keep it going. And then we get a lot of criticism from the uh, parents, but that's in everything you do, like. But a lot of it, at the same time, there's no harm in it, mm -hmm. you know. And the more you do for the, uh, the scouts, the more criticism you get, sometimes from parents. You know, it feeds back again, to, it feeds back from the house to the scouts themselves and then the scouts gives us to the leaders back to see. Mm. And at, the, when, at that stage then you see, it's, you will know what to say to them, you know. But I, I think this time we're on, we're on the winner because uh, including yourself now and including Danny to uh, the all stock back um, and put that together with the likes of John Lawler and PJ and Noel, Karen and Kevin and Nicky. There's a great blend of youth and experience. Oh yes. And before they went well, but I think this time they're going to go very well. Oh yeah, yeah. Like it's, a, it's a great thing for the children. There's a lot to be learned from scouting. And it's a great honour to see, for to see the scouts in the town. And I hope to God that they'll keep going this time. And if through the scouts, the leaders themselves, we're out to keep going. You know, because there's so many people out there trying to get into the scout. You know. That's true. Well, Joe, um, as I said, I'd like to, um, I'm delighted that you're back with us. Um, we we'll fit you over the uniform fairly fast, <laughs> and we're looking forward to working with you. And thanks a million for coming down today. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, as you return to the back room for a bit of peace and quiet, as you know, the, 
party of all parties going on outside tonight for the kids. The mother, mother of all parties. Mother of all parties, sorry. <laughs> the, for the kids winning the float. Now, you yourselves, as the leaders in the Scouts, put an awful lot of work into the float. So if we can just take a few minutes, um, I'll start with Noel. And um, Noel has the story of um, the car. And you got the, you got the idea to do the car. And I think that's where the whole float and the parts that went into it and everything, all the work, started with the, the I know good at names of cars, I think for the... Uh, four is. Four. Well, we started off with a no, blue four it was near the end of his day. I so. tried to do something like that on the quiet, but... Uh, didn't work home. Uh, nearly back in Stone Age times. <laughs> Fabulous uh, scout movie. Was he around the road to come as a scout for you? We will have, yeah. Right, so, hello, and our sincere thanks to Pat and Breen O'Brien below and Bally Hemming for letting us use their premises. Um, PJ and John. Hello. If you could, in short words, just describe. I know you didn't go out to win the float. And it was a fabulous bonus for the Scouts to actually win first prize. So, just your own feelings on it. Well, as I said, we, we only went out to promote what we do in the, in the town for the kids. And as you said, we put a lot of work into the floor series. There's two articulated trucks, as you know. In the front of the first one, which uh, went on very well. Yeah, we came, came, came good into the we're lucky with the weather. Right, John. That really was only, it was only to give people a bit more knowledge of what scouting is all about, because like, a lot of people just think that scouting, you just get into your uniform once a week and have your little meeting on that. But they don't actually know what the activities that scouting is all about. So, this thing is what scouting is all about. On the day I came up with, we had every, nearly every aspect of the outdoor award which we won this year. Um, nearly everything that we did in that, in, to achieve the outdoor award, was on the floats, which then, you know, the kids knew what, what it was all about, and now hopefully the people on Corbin know what it's all about. Right, if I, I put another question, she we had a meeting in the Avalon early April there, came down to us, and we were talking about um, restarting the Scouts in Corbin. I think we've come a long way in less than 30 months. Uh, in September of this year, <coughs> as John said, we achieved the National Outdoor Award. Um, we've developed from there, and at this stage, I think Noel and PJ um, have ideas about the venture group, so if you'd like to let us in on that. It caters from the age of 16 to 21. Uh, numerous activities, there's very little to what they can do. To start out, we, when we amalgamate with the Kenny and Karen, I hope God, if it gets off the ground, this time next year we'll be going over the country, if all goes well. Well, as group leader, I'd like to wish you well. Uh, if I can turn to John. As you know, we all get into bother now and again with our wives because we're away at weekends and wearing camps and different things. Um, and I think you're all beating the system because we're slowly inviting the wives to be get, becoming involved. You know, <laughs> PJ and, and Kevin, or PJ and John, um, we're starting up a beaver group. Right. So, John, you might uh, let us in on how we're going to Get the wives involved. <laughs> Hopefully, you get them involved on the, on the weekends only. Like, but um, seriously, the, the Beaver Group, like, it's, it's put another extension onto the bring our younger people up, like, from before pre cub age, which is six to eight years of age, and um, basically, it's, it's to get them to start started in the in the scouting as itself. Like, the they go through a book called the All That Book, and it's, and it's all the little things that you like to teach kids anyway. Like, you know how to tie their shoelaces, how to help, help their mothers in doing the wash up and see the badge work that they do, which just gives them a little <coughs> start in scouting, brings them on to the Cubs, then Cubs to scouts and then hopefully if they have the, the stay in power and they'll stay on to the ventures, like, which is, as I say, very, very good. Right, lads, finally, um, we said we have a party out there tonight for the kids. Um, and the noise is starting to rouse again. They're waiting to go back to school and say sorry for the work that you're doing for Scouts at home. Um, not only yourselves, but Kevin, PJ, Karen, Nikki, Martina, Alina, um, Joey, Danny, the names go on. And the work, the time and the dedication that you're putting into it will pay off because we have now in the town of Castle Coma a Scout group second to you. Um, again, I'd just like to thank you 
So this, these are all the group leaders here, are they? These are all the club leaders. Yeah. Fine bunch of. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Strap them up. Every body, men and women. Two more recruits for leaders. They're Dylan and Billy McKenna. So they're coming down through the night. Good evening to see you. 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 Good evening to see we started last March. We started with a very small group, uh, very few leaders, and the uh, most uh, a very big public scout. So let's just turn to Barry for a second. Barry, you were one of the first of us initially got involved. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I was actually a co first. I really enjoyed it with camping. I suppose camping was the best for me. That's, that's what I really loved. The best camp was mostly at the campfire sitting on the edge. The sounds were great, the games. The things we did was a couple of things. And being a leader at the moment and seeing the kids getting the enjoyment of what I did, it's a great pleasure watching them smile. It's a lot of Great vanguard, and I think as far as I know, she's attached to a Portuguese station. And, you know, it must be a great outlet for you. You're dealing with tragedies and you're dealing with crime all the time. It must get great satisfaction. I do actually, yeah. It's a great release for me to be down here on Tuesday evening or whatever weekend or whatever. Down and relax with the kids and enjoy being with them, and the kids are enjoying themselves. And over the last couple of months, I've seen they all relax much better with one another. They're getting to know each other better, and they're mixing around, and mixing better with the leaders as well. Now, you yourself, um, I don't think you were involved in Cubs. No, I was never involved with the Cubs or Scouts as a child. And as an organisation, just getting oh, involved in it, you think yeah. it's worthwhile? Oh, it certainly is worthwhile. Yeah. It's great for the town itself. People would stop me down the street now and say it was great for the children now to be to have it organised and it's all so well. It's great support in the town for it. Right, thanks Anne. Um, I turn to Gilles. Um, sure. Are you happy with the way things are going? Yes, you're fine. Brilliant the way now we, you have um, your work put out in another few weeks then, because as we said earlier on, we'll be starting a beaver booth in the section. And as you know, the beavers cater for kids between the ages of five to eight years of age. So you'll be getting a lot of them next year. So I, I think the future of the Cubs and the Scouts in Coma is very bright. So keep up the good work. If I can turn to Peggy. Oh, okay. um, Peggy, the bunch of leaders. You can describe me a few short ones. We all get our men together. There's no disagreements. If there is, there are not there men. There's no bitch and there's no backbite that goes on with anybody. We seem to work well as a group and we all enjoy having work with kids. And I think the kids enjoy the leaders and what we're doing with them. I turned to Michelle and she's very yeah. This is Michelle. <laughs> Michelle here. <laughs> and finally, um, Sean. Me? Gonna... John, you're enjoying it? No, yeah, it's great. Yeah. So you're here to stay for a while? Yeah, well, that's, as I did with the, the, the congratulate you and compliment you on the work that you're doing in the town. And I hope that 1993 will be every bit as good as 1992. And that you will add to the Scouts achievement and that you take the National Outdoor Awards to it. And thanks for your time. Thank you. Thank you. They're all going to be no, fat for eating these fish. Ah, no! Right. Right, That's just to round off the night, I'm already, as I said, after talking to club leaders, scout leaders, and finally, I just want to talk to a few members of the scout and club group. Um, I think here, though, we have mostly members of the scout group. I just want to ask you a few questions of how you think the scouts are going in Comer and what the you get. Okay, so, first of all, I'll turn to Alexander. Alexander, 
Alexander came home from Australia and his family are living up in Oscorty you now. So Alexander, I'd just like to ask you, I know you were involved in Scouts in Australia. What do you think of the Scouts in Cork? Eventually, when all the leaders and patrol leaders are trained, you think we will be a fairly good scout show? Yeah. Right, there's another little lad beside <laughs> a wild man. So, Jumbo, yourself, just in a few short words, are you enjoying scout? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been good since it started. Yeah. So, were you happy winning the running race, yeah. the flower? You put a lot of work into it yourself. Working hard with all Valley Hill, so fair to you. Um, this girl, Ray, um, you've been in the scouts since it started, and by the looks of things, you helped yourself fairly well with the car. It must be going to be another part of the law tonight. Do you enjoy the scouts? Yeah. And you have a company parked this year, and you hope to go. Okay. Right, I turn to this wow lass that's sitting on my knee, the patrol leader, um, and a lousy disco dancer. <laughs> but, Avril. You, again, you're in the Scouts since it started. And just a simple question I'm asking you is why you enjoy it. Yeah. You enjoy the activities that we've yeah, all done. Um, you enjoy the old camps and the crack of the camps and yeah. different things. So you'll, you'll be with us for a while. Yeah. Now, as you know, they're starting up a venture group. So when you come the age of 16, you'll be able to go in and join up the ventures till you're 21 and so get married. You'll be there with us. We do all the arrangements for your wedding. Okay? <laughs> They're, they're good or bad, but there's two very keen scouts. That's Kerry and Catherine Foreman. Where's Catherine? Catherine is, Mom, this was. is Catherine. <laughs> um, again, these have been involved with us since we started. And I leave it up to yourselves. You can say whether you enjoy it or not. Yeah, it's brilliant. Are you enjoying your party tonight? Yes. And can you tell us the reason why you're having a party tonight? So about the rivers. Uh, and what did you do with the weather is? Mm -hmm. I did float with something. Can you describe what the float was all about? It's about the pioneering activities we did on the camps and setting up tents and sweet bowls and fires and canoeing. Right, Kerry, Kerry is, um, um, and again, just a simple question. Are you enjoying the fun and the fact that you're being scouts? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and you're going to stay with us for a while? So. Would you recommend to uh, other kids of your own age around the town scouting is worthwhile? Yeah. Right, we turn to a little man there. He's in the troop. Uh, Edward, isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of the scouts? Brilliant. You can't say much because your brother is scouting. But... <laughs> no, but are you enjoying it? Yeah. And you're... <coughs> so, are you... do you get an old dance out there tonight? Yeah. Anyone ask out to dance? No. <laughs> Right, we have another one here. I see her going more out there on the floor a while ago. Um, Karen. Karen Short. Karen Funky, the father, is it? Hi, Karen. You're, you're with us for a while too with the Scouts. Um, are you enjoying the crack? Yeah. Right, if I could turn to Maria, but it's a simple question, but a rather hard question. In a few words, could you describe how the lads and the girls? Um, feel about PJ, Karen, Kevin, the leaders that look after you yeah, and the work that they put into it. Yeah, get on with it. They're really easy to get on with. Um, they don't have to do all the stuff, but they do. Right, anyone like to answer that question for me? Anyone here in the group like to pay a compliment to the leaders that are outside there? To the leaders that are outside there? Good, they're brilliant. Right, so I tell you what we do. We'll finish it off. He, he learned one, a few scout songs. We we'll pick oh, one, shit. and we just oh, get yeah, yeah, yeah. a show. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no, 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 no,
they want one of yourselves, I tell you, we pick on Avril just to pay, pay a compliment to the leaders outside and the work that they're doing for you. Just to finish it off, three good rounds and cheers for the leaders. Okay, so I pass it over to Avril.